Hey everybody, it's Brittany at Be Unique, and I'm just coming back with another Summer Essentials video. And I hope you like it. It's really um, kind of informative and very straight to the point and what I think you need for the summer months, the rest of the summer months. Um, just to keep your face hydrated and moisturized and the whole nine yards. You'll see. Just keep watching. One of the first things I do on a consistent basis, this is not just to make the video, but I drink water every single day. I drink at least three to four bottles of water every single day. And it's no specific water. I just I have a bottle. I drink it. <laughs> so right now I'm drinking Aquafina and... This is my second bottle of the day. In the summer months, you need to keep your body hydrated. No matter if your skin, if you think your skin is dry or your skin is dry, you need to drink water regardless of the your skin, your skin condition or your skin type. You need to drink water. Everyone needs water. Second thing you need, if you if you got if you have skin and you're gonna be in the sun, this is what you need. Not even in the sun, but if you're going to be outside in Mother Nature, you need this. I couldn't find exactly the one that I used, but um, I used the Neutrogena SPF, I think it's 30, I believe, SPF 30, one of them. But this is um, a good alternative, is Eucerin, it's a daily protection, and this is SPF 30. This is really good for your face and the rest of your body. And you can get this at Walgreens, I believe, Walgreens or Walmart. So it's just a pump like this, and you pump some on your skin, and you put it on your face. You need, if you're not going to wear makeup, or if you are going to wear makeup, you need an SPF regardless, because the sun is going to hit you, and Mother Nature, Mother Nature is going to hit you either way. When you're in the car, when you're outside, no, I want just driving. No, you're still going to get burned, trust me. Third thing that you need, if you don't have an SPF, just a regular basic SPF, you need an SPF in your primer. So this is a primer that I use, but this does not have SPF. This is why I use an SPF, a regular SPF. Sorry, it's a little dirty. I was testing this primer out and I absolutely love it. Um, I have normal, no, I have combination skin. It's oily and it's dry. It gets dry here and oily de de depending on the skin, depending on the moment. And, and it can get oily right in the center of my nose and right underneath here. And this helps my, it just controls the oils. It's a lot better and I would actually recommend this to you rather than because I consider myself a professional makeup artist and a soon to be esthetician in 12 days. So this is what you should use, not um, um, milk of magnesium. I mean that's great, it has been working but it's also drying for my skin. So I need something that is not going to dry my skin, but it's going to control the oils at the same time. And this, I've been testing this for about three weeks, and I absolutely love it. It controls shine up to eight hours. And so, yeah, heck, it says you could put it on underneath and on top of your makeup, but I would rather underneath, to be honest. Number four, since it's summer months and it's hot and it's sweaty depending on what kind of state you live in, I live in Florida and I am in Miami, so you understand my struggle, okay? We have humidity plus the sun. So I use a BB cream. My BB cream that I have does not have an SPF, but that's okay because I already have an SPF on. So you can find BB creams that, that have SPF in it um, or not. And then you can just buy an SPF uh, separately. The BB cream, I would say, um, because the beauty it means beauty balm and very light foundation, and it's less coverage depending on the brand and depending on what it says it does. Um, and it's supposed to be healthier for your skin because it's it's very light and it's less. But this is by Kiss. I love this. I use this like this is the second bottle that I have and a little goes a long way um, it gives great coverage it conceals and it brightens and nourishes so this is definitely a, um, a BB cream that I would use on a consistent basis if I don't feel like wearing foundation this is what I use 
and you can get this at your ethnic beauty supply store. To keep up with the glow, that current trend, you want to have something that is awesome to keep that glow and not shiny but to keep a glow of I mean like a healthy glow of your skin I use this on a regular this is all over glow show you all over glow by Ruby kisses and it's so pretty and this is called flesh glow you can also get this at the beauty supply store this is a dry highlighting powder see that that nice beautiful peachy glow or you can just simply use Revlon photo ready skin lights what you can do you can do numerous of things you can put this on it's a liquid form you can put this on directly on your highlight highlight points or you can mix it with your BB cream and create an all over glow all over your face. A little goes a long way, so you don't want to just shine up your entire face, but you want to put a little bit of this. They remind me of um, of um, drops, uh, I forget what they call them, it's in MAC, um, something drops. But basically you put a little bit of this inside your BB cream, mix it together, and then dot it all over your face as if you're putting on foundation, and then just blend it all, to, just blend it all over your face until you don't see any demarcation lines and there you go a blush and my favorite blush for the summer months right now is it's a limited edition by Milani and it's a powder blush and the color is Lady Rouge and to finish your skin um, to finish your makeup look and to set it I would suggest two different sprays you can use the setting, you can use the e.l.f. setting, the makeup mist and set. This has um, aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. And you can get this at Walgreens or any store that carries, any drugstore that carries e.l.f. Or you just spray it all over your face and kind of just oof, get into it, whatever. Or you can try the NYX Dewy Finish. Um, they also have a matte one, but a dewy finish if you want that dewy glow, and it lasts on your face. It doesn't, you don't have to retouch your face or whatever, so I highly suggest these two setting sprays. Now, if you want to use both, you can use both. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I highly suggest these two, and they're significantly cheap. This is $8, and this is $3. Of course, of course, of course, the sixth thing that you should do is use a pop of color, hello, and bring out the pops on your face to show that particular personality. You can add lashes. I suggest the wispy lashes um, from anywhere. This is from the this is from the beauty supply store. It's a dollar sixty nine. They're by Cherry Blossom, and it's W S P. They're wispy and they're so beautiful oh my gosh they're like so natural and also you can add a lip a lip color and the one that I usually gravitate to when I want to be very sexy and flirty I choose the Nika K I know I have them in the little trays or whatever but the Nika K not that one one next to it it's a purple color and it's so bright we're on one of my videos isn't that pretty? Oh Lord, have mercy. Look at that. Look at that purple, and it's called Violet. And it's 99 cents. Hello? And it has vitamin E. That completes that Summary Essentials video. Summary Essentials video. I hope it was informative. I know it was quick, and I hope just being quick makes it easier for you to watch. So please keep your skin healthy. Don't think if you look good, your skin is healthy. No, if you're so keep your skin healthy especially through the summer months alrighty stay tuned for that summer makeup video